Well, Dave, congratulations. Uh, of course, now you understand why we put pressure on you guys. So at least we get two excellent games during the later. Talk to me. <laughs> uh, talk to me about today's victory. Well, um, today obviously you come up this this morning. Our game plan is to win the game. Obviously, um, you know it's a opportunity for us to win a series. Um, you know we know how difficult it is to win series despite the opposition. Um, Zimbabwe come out today and, and they, they put up over 270 on the board. And um, any team chasing 270 obviously need a, a good batting partnership, a good batting display. And I must give credit to all my batters. Um, um, Really, really happy for Ramnir Sawan to come. You know, despite all he has been going through um, lately in terms of being into the team and stuff, his fitness and stuff. Um, you know, it's nice to see get the opportunity to open the button and score a hundred. And you know, hundreds not easy. No, no, no matter the opposition, like I said before, and it's always good to, to score hundreds. And I'm very happy for him and the entire team. How did the decision come about for him? Well, it was a decision. Um, Johnson Charles tweak a hamstring, got a hamstring injury in, in, in the first game. So obviously um, we didn't want to risk him playing in this game and we, obviously we have the T20s ahead and he's a key player for us. Um, the opportunity for Sawan, um, since he has to return since in Australia and in the series in the first game, um, never really get the opportunity to actually bat long and, and, and spend good time in the middle. Uh, he asked the selectors to come here early to play the warm game as you can see. So you know you want that opportunity to score, you want to perform and this is the right time. I think um, opening the button obviously he's a class player and I think getting him up the order it was a decision by the management team and myself and we also asked Sawan if he will grant the opportunity and he, he said yeah well, and, um, you know Sawan's class whatever number stars want to bat he should be able to bat and he did well. Well, yeah, like I said, um, you know, the SARS records shows for its seventh in, in one day international, even in the longer form of the game. He's a class batsman, and, you know, once he pays himself, but through the innings like he did today, more often than not, West Indies will win games. And, um, you know, it's good to see after he gets his injury, but all the way down to the end. We know he have a lot of power hitters around him, so he does have to play the anchor role, and all the other guys bat around him also, and therefore. We always going to be victorious once SARS play like that and the entire team with the lower order half we have Pollard, Russell, myself, Ramden still to bat. So, you know, um, 270 on a good bat to make it smallish strong. Um, we always back ourselves to, to chase it, but like I said before, we did require good batting skills, good partnership, and the guys did that. If you had a batsman that went sour against the Swiss century and you saw being an excellent with the ball. Just taking it through, I mean, what does it mean for you? It's like you're taking you moving into the, the third game of the series and moving ahead. Well, like I said in, the, in our team meeting last night, um, the display we put on on Friday, that was dead and buried. Today's game is also going to be dead and buried, and we have to look forward to Tuesday game. Um, we're not going to look back and see, okay, we went 2 0 and we went the series and, and take our foot off the gas. Um, it's not going to happen. We're going to come out Tuesday again and, and whatever we do, back first to board, first try and put on another great display, good all-round performance, a great team performance and try to finish the series 3 0 and um, that's our aim and like I said, these two games are behind us and we're looking to move forward. Your best bowling performance in a one-day game, do you feel now you're back to your best bowling, bowling form because in the last few years you, know, you, you, were, you weren't as consistent as you were previously? No, I wouldn't say I'm back as yet. Um, I still have a lot of work to do. Um, you know, getting six because yes, it's a great feeling, great achievement personally. But I wouldn't say that I'm back to the best so that I was before. Um, but you know, that will help. The six wickets will help definitely. We'll get my confidence back, and you know, I I could always push forward, and um, you know, hopefully things can continue to get better, and um, hopefully that no injuries to hamper me again. So that that's one of my main concern and um, I hopefully that I will keep myself on the park so that therefore I can continue to put in some good all round performances for the team and for West Indies. Oh, so how, good, good. How, how, how good was it to, to, to win to win the series and to wrap it up and get out of the win? 
Yeah, like um, it's always good to win any series they play, um, despite the opposition. Like I said before, um, you know we can only beat teams that who are in front of us. Um, we come off from a tough tour in Australia. Um, we know it's difficult to play in Australia, like, but we also had good opportunities to win games there. We did not capitalize on those chances, and one take it over the team. One one of the main focus that was to try and get the guys to get back enjoying their cricket again. That's the main thing. Once we enjoy ourselves, express ourselves, therefore we'll put in performances like some of the guys are, are doing. Um, you know, try to take the pressure off of them. Um, try not to get too much media pressure and, and, and stuff and make sure everything go the right way. And like I said, once we, we are West Indians, we need, we need to express ourselves and enjoy our cricket and that's the only way we can improve and do well. So that's one of the first thing on the first training day I instilled into the team to, despite of what happened with the outcome of the game, let's get back enjoying our cricket again and enjoying each other's success and that's the most important thing. Talking about about players enjoying, uh, um, enjoying the game. How good is it to see Ran Rest R1 like most, his own self again, you know, playing freely, fluently? How, how, how good is that? And what does that do to the team, especially going forward? Like I said, it's all about enjoyment. And you know, you can look at Sars now and you can see he's actually happy, he's relaxed now. And, you know, once you have players such as Sars class in a team, the, the, the best thing to do is to create an environment to make them feel comfortable, make them feel happy, make them feel belong. And they will go outside and perform. They are world class players, they did it before over and over again. So it's up to us now. I'm, I'm part of the management team now, so that's one of the things I ask the management for to let allow the, the senior players, the, the you know, the Sawa and the Pollard, even if Chris is back, allow them to be themselves and express themselves and West Indies cricket could only benefit and uh, you know it's it's good to see, and um, I'm very happy for him. Like I said before, personally, you know, all he's going through, and you know, Ramden yet yeah, is back again. Did not get the opportunity to the bat, but once those players up the order, you see Johnson Charles score back to back hundreds. Powell giving us good start, consistent. Therefore, another hundred is right around the corner for him also. My young brother getting his first hundred, so. It's good, like I said before, it's always good and it's all boys out there. Enjoyment, enjoying what to do. We all love playing for the West Indies, we all love playing cricket, and that's the most important thing. Getting yeah, back to um, Rahul's personal performance, um, like you said, over the last two years, you, have, you came out with the, the, the ball a pitch, and um, we did see in the last couple of months, though, some consistency in terms of. Um, you try lots of different things sometimes. People think that you try too many things in your bowling. And uh, you really trying to be a little more consistent, putting the ball. You bowl one good ball, you try to bowl another good ball, how to try something else. And um, yes, yeah, so this is what happened today. You were very consistent and it paid off, you know? Like I always tell the guys, um, I'm the type of bowler that, you know, I will always try things. <laughs> um, I, Too many things sometimes. <laughs> well, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work. But that's the type of player I'm, I'm a very instinctive player. Uh, I, I'll be running into ball, uh, you know, uh, deliver on top of off stump, and then instinct said ball a slower ball, and I'll do it. it sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work. So that is, that is, that is sometimes, you know, that as players, we all go through that, and at times we need to back our instinct. Most time, the instinct never let you down. So that's, that's you know, a God-given talent that I have. Um, I strive on that and I depend on it. And like I said, most of the thing, it, I just have to keep working, keep fit. That's my main focus, keeping fit and being able to finish series and play a long, long, long time. What the trials today? <laughs> trials? Yeah. What trials? Variations. Yeah, well, the surface requires that. Um, you know, it's a slow surface, a very good batting pitch, so you have to vary it very um, the deliveries and that is where my experience and my skills comes in and, like on a, and another day the ball might be steaming around and you know there will be no call for much slower ball so it depends on the situation of the game the, the conditions and everything like that and um, yeah, it is ball to suit so it's all about thinking on the feet so a bit, a bit early but um, the test matches and the training what, what can we expect well i could talk about the t20s okay. um we are the world champions, we pride ourselves very high on that and it's the first time we play at home as, since we come back as champions and you know we win the last T20 in Australia that, that in itself gave us some great confidence and, but we're not going to say okay we are the best team in the world but 
we're gonna take it easy against Zimbabwe. Like it's T20 cricket, anything is possible. They have good players. Um, you know, most of us didn't expect Zim after on Friday to score over 230. So we have to give the team respect um, and like you know, cricket player on the day. So hopefully we we can do well in those t two T20 games. That's something we have to discuss with, with management, but more basically, yeah, I think so. Um, young Pumal, we might give him an opportunity to, to, to come into the team, so um, that might be the only person who might get a chance to play. I'm not sure who's going to miss out, but I'll be pushing to try and get him again. We in Lutheran, it must be quick reassuring, though. We in Lutheran, you see, uh, you've got yourself, uh, you got yourself, Chris, Chris Darren, Marlon is still to come back. Stars is not really distract. Devin Thomas is going to, sorry, Devin Smith is going to love it, right? And you've got a whole battery of fast motors. Things are looking good for us, it's great, don't you think? Yeah, things are looking good. And <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it can continue to look good. And those guys who are performing well continue to perform. And then things will really look good. But we can't, you know, get yeah. too cried away and get too ahead of ourselves. we got to take it step by step. Um, this, we have well, Tuesday is our last ODI game, then England. And it's, we know how difficult it is to play in England. But the last time we played an ICC tournament in England, we won. So that's something going to be in the back of our minds, in the back of the other teams, man. And um, we have a very good ODI team, like I said, Marlon still to come, Chris still to come, Darren Sami still to come. So therefore, we, things are really looking good and hopefully all our players can be fit and ready to go for the tournament. Um, what's your guiding philosophy when you're captain? Guiding? Especially guiding philosophy. What are some of the things you believe yeah. when you're captain? I strongly be I'm a strong believer in um, you know wickets. Uh, if, if wickets do change games, and I, I, I'm attacking captain, uh, I, and I also proactive. I, I, I try to think ahead, uh, think like a batsman uh, at times, and you know try always try to figure out what the batsman strengths are, where he looking to score, where he not likely to score, and I try where he who is not comfortable facing, and, and try to have those bowlers on at certain times. Uh, I, um, yeah, but I say I'm more very, I'm very attacking and, and times like, like today for instance Narang had a go with me for attacking too much for him but I believe he's my he's my trump card and I, and I believe you know obviously today is the first time he go over 50 runs in, in international cricket but I believe in him and I will always attack for him so and I probably I always tell the guys I rather go 10 overs 3 for 60 3 for 60 odd than go 10 overs none for 20 did the crowd have anything to do with this victory? Of course, um, playing cricket in front of the crowd has always helped. It's give us that, that momentum. Um, the music also is good. Friday morning when we warm up, they had music playing. And you know, today we have music, so we're like, we're all West Indians and we love music. So. Where did you hear There's something you want to say for the crowd? Hmm? You're really crowd. Do you have, have a message for them? Or? Well, I already, I already thanked them on, on, on live on national TV. And I felt we thank them again. I say thanks to the Green Indian crowd for coming out. And hopefully, I know Tuesday is a working day. It's not going to be as big. But um, I expect a, a decent turnout. And we know they all love the cricket. And it's good we can come here and perform for them.